Hi and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Vince. Thanks for stopping by. You're very welcome here indeed. So three months ago, using the results from my last blood test, I took an online epigenetic age calculator test to see what my epigenetic age was. Uh, I asked in the comments if you thought this was a good idea and whether I should do this every three months with a blood test or maybe every six months to get a more accurate gauge. Uh, the consensus was that you'd like me to do it every three months and I guess the more data I accumulate, the better. So enough waffling from me. Let's jump into the latest epigenetic online calculator test using my last blood test. So if you saw the video where I did this last time, you will know that I used three uh, separate websites. This was one of them, aging.ai. I shan't use this this time only because of the time that it takes me to enter the data. And I don't think it's any more uh, accurate than the, the other one I'm going to do. Um, the reason for that is when you look at what they ask you for, you have all of the different uh, elements that you need to enter. And here on the right is the the unit of measure they want you to enter into the algorithm. This one's grams per litre, millimoles per deciliter, um, grams per deciliter, uh, millimoles per litre, grams per deciliter, a percentage, I think that's fluid ounces, MCL, I can't remember what that is. But if I've got the 19, because they want 19 parameters, if I've got the 19 numbers that I've got from my blood test, I think out of the 19, 16 or 17, I've got to go into another site. I've got to search the particular element because they're not all um, the same formula. Once I've found that, I've then got to enter in the number. Once I get the, the equivalent number that this site wants, I've got to come back and I've got to enter it here. And you've got to do that 19, 17, 18 times. Um, like I say, 40 minutes is just is just too long for me. Um, but feel free to use it yourself. It's It's free. Um, and it is, it's probably as accurate as the next one I'm going to use. So let's move on to the, the next online age calculator. So here we are in longevityadvantage.com. Uh, Quite a lot of uh, technical blurb here about epigenetic age, epigenetic, epigenetics, etc. Uh, and then we get to the part where you've got to enter your, um, your levels. Now I'll just quickly flick up what I did last, the last quarter. Um, you can see that in December 2020, which was three months ago, or three months prior to the last blood test I did, my chronological age was 56. My phenotypic age was 51.93. Uh, and I'll also put up a quick statement of what phenotypic age is. So according to this, I am 4.07 years younger, so around four years and eight months, um, than my calendar age, which would make me around 52. So four years younger, that was three months ago, which is which is pretty good. Uh, I'll also put up here what they say my DNA methylation age was, which was 51.20. So again, that puts me at minus 4.8, which is good. So around 52, again, four years younger, and that was three months ago. So on this site, longevityadvantage.com, they ask you for 10 separate inputs, which you put in, and then you click next step. That will then ask you for an email address. You email them, uh, you send them your email address, they will then email your results and you get it within about a minute or two minutes. Uh, these are the results of my last test. So it says here my chronological age is 56. My phenotypic age is 52.84. Um, so according to this, I am 3.16 year, 3 years younger. So around three years and two months, um, which makes me around 53. And last time, which is three years younger. And last time it was about four years younger. So. I've aged a year, although I'm still technically three years younger than I am now. My DNA methylation age is 52.07. So again, that puts me at minus 0.93. So around three years and 11 months. So I'm going to call it four years. <laughs> so again, around 52, which is the same. It's four years younger. So within a month of what it was three months ago in December 2020. So that's it for longevityadvantage.com. Now, if you're unable to get hold of a blood test, but you still want some kind of idea of what your epigenetic or your biological age is, and maybe something that's going to spur you into action, uh, there are many sites like this. This is biological-age.com. It's an online questionnaire, obviously not as accurate. Um, the time I did this before, um, it was okay. This time there's there are more questions, so it is improving, but I still think... A lot of the questions are, are slightly um, broad. You first of all enter in your uh, date of birth. 
Now, this one, where do you live? I live in the Middle East, and the region is known as Middle East and North Asia, or MENA. It's not here, so I had to click on UK and Europe. Uh, I'm obviously a male. Uh, and I'd say I'm average body size. And I'm lucky I do sleep between seven and nine hours a night. This is the question that I'm not particularly happy with. It's about units of alcohol. It says, do you drink one drink a day, two drinks a day, or no drinks a day? And it goes up to more than a day. Now, I drink um, maybe one or two a week. So if I click one drink a day, that's going to enter into the algorithm seven drinks in a week, um, which which is not what I drink. So that's why I think this is probably not as accurate as it could be. Um, now, when you finish this test, it comes up with the answer. Last time, if I remember, I'll flick it up. It says it was 32. And this time, with more questions, um, I'm still coming out as 32. So again, I don't think it's particularly accurate. It's better than nothing. And if you need to know that you're, by this algorithm, your calendar age might be 55, but it tells you you're 65 or 70, this might be the catalyst to get you off your arse and actually start doing something about it. Um, that said, at the end of this, when I came back as 32, being a 56-year-old, there's a small sentence that comes up down here that tells you um, what you need to do. And the, the massive amount of advice I got was eat five servings of fruit and vegetable a day, which is pretty obvious, really. Uh, I'm not, I, I'm, I know that this is helpful, especially for someone that doesn't uh, have access to blood tests, but I think this site is probably more about uh, AdSense revenue for whoever made the site. So that's it for biological-age.com. So I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Uh, if you've had a blood test done recently, then I urge you to at least try one of these online calculators. Uh, what have you got to lose? Although your blood test may come back good, it may be it may show something else in these online calculators. Uh, so why not give it a go? If you don't have the um, the resources needed to do a blood test, then you can always go to the likes of biologicalage.com and you can do the online questionnaire. Uh, you need to be honest. You need to be brutally honest with the answers. And if anything, err on the side of doing yourself down to bring or to move up your chronological age, which will hopefully kick you into some kind of uh, healthy lifestyle or some kind of improvement. Uh, it will tell you what your uh, epigenetic age is, um, i.e. the uh, effect that the environment um, and external factors have on you as opposed to your genetics, which were given to you by your mother and father. Uh, but with that, you must be brutally honest. So as you know, I'm gonna be taking a blood test every three months from now on, so I'll do definitely the, the age uh, longevity advantage test and I'll probably do the questionnaire as well just to see if that changes. Um, well that's it for today, I hope you found this interesting. Uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. As always, please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.